On December 1, 1990, 132 feet beneath the English Channel, workers drilled a hole the size of a car through solid rock and history. For the first time in over 8,000 years, Britain and mainland Europe were physically connected again. The idea wasn't new. Napoleon heard a proposal for a tunnel in 1802, but only modern tech made it possible. After Britain and France signed a treaty in 1986, nearly 13,000 workers dug 95 miles of tunnels, removing 8 million cubic meters of soil. This material was used to create Samphire Ho, a 740-acre nature reserve near Dover. Cost, about 15 billion. When the two tunnel teams finally met, they exchanged flags and toasted with champagne. Four years later, in 1994, Queen Elizabeth II and President Francois Mitterrand opened the channel. Today, Eurostar trains race through the 31-mile tunnel, 23 miles underwater, in just 20 minutes. A colossal engineering feat and a tunnel that forever changed travel between the UK and Europe.